Hello followers, this is the part 2 tutorial on the Boeing 737 Angus Auto Throttle. For those who missed the video part 1, you will find the link below in the description box. In the first part of this video, we will see how the Auto Throttle works during descent. I will dismiss the MCP flight modes as if they're inoperative to show you how to operate the auto throttle manually for descent phase. This will help us to understand the basic of the auto throttle operation. Then we follow this tutorial by a brief overview on how the different pitch modes on the MCP affect the auto throttle modes. Currently I'm flying the cruise altitude at flight level 200 as you can see uh, I'm currently using the speed mode so the auto throttle is controlling my target speed ATC has cleared me to start the sand to 8000 feet first I set my descent target altitude 8000 set so again I'm gonna do this without using the MCP assistance purposely to show you the basic of uh, the auto throttle operation now normally we descend with thrust at idle so first I set the descent speed computed by the FMC we can find this uh, on the descent page here it is 330 I set this on my IS mock display then I turn off the auto throttle arm switch this allows me to uh, have a manual control on the thrust levers. Now, to initiate the descent simultaneously, I retard the thrust to idle and I lower the pitch down to control the descent speed. ATC now has instructed me to maintain descent rate at 1000 feet per minute for traffic separation until advised. To obey this instruction, first I arm the auto throttle. Speed mode is by default selected. I check now on my FMA that speed mode is engaged. Then gently I pitch up the nose until I get the vertical speed indicator pointing to 1000 thick mark. Let's go back now to our mode control panel and see how the pitch modes affect the auto throttle modes. If we are in climb and N1 mode is engaged, selecting either the altitude hold or vertical speed will cause the auto throttle to change to speed mode, which is indicated by the green light bar on the speed push button and speed annunciation on the FMA auto throttle mode. When speed mode is engaged, selecting either VNAV or level change pitch modes for climbing will cause the auto throttle to change to N1 mode, which is indicated by the green light bar on N1 push button and N1 annunciation on the auto throttle mode on the FMA. When speed mode is engaged, selecting either VNAV or level change pitch modes for descending will cause a deselection of both N1 and speed modes accompanied with auto throttle retarding the thrust to idle, which is indicated by retard annunciation on the auto throttle mode on the FMA and the retarding action of the thrust levers by the servo motor, as you can see here. Then when the thrust reaches the idle position, the auto throttle mode changes to arm. And this completes the auto throttle tutorial for the Boeing 737 NGs. Thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial.